with telescopes the bigger the aperture the better but can this 6 inch dobsonian telescope from skywatcher reach the level of a 12 inch dobsonian power maybe let's check that right now with this object the object you're about to watch the helix nebula it's a planetary nebula that lies about 650 light years away in the Aquarius constellation. It was also the first planetary nebula discovered to contain cometary knots. Catalogued as NGC 7293, the Helix Nebula has been referred to as the Eye of God in pop culture. But be aware if you're going to watch it, that it's a large planetary nebula. Just for you to get an idea, the Helix Nebula is four times larger than the Dumbbell Nebula and 100 times the area of the Ring Nebula. Therefore, expect a large object in the eyepiece or camera. The easiest way to start hope and find this nebula is by finding first the formal Hout star and then slide to the planetary nebula towards the Aquarius constellation. An UHC or O3 filter may help you to find this nebula through an eyepiece. Observing from dark skies or from southern latitudes will also help you. And now let's get right into the action and you are watching side by side at the left the 6 inch Skywatcher Go to Virtuoso telescope and at the right the powerful 12 inch Dobsonian telescope, this one over an equatorial platform. Therefore, both are tracking the sky. This is a live stack with a software I always use, which is SharpCap. Each frame has the duration of 10 seconds, and in real time, what the software is doing is stack all those frames. Exactly the way I do in my live streams, and after 15 minutes observing this beautiful object, and watching it getting sharper and with more details, we take a single image of each telescope and now we do some quick astrophotography. Just a tweak to get this. Tell me in the comments if you like the result and click on the video on the screen to improve your knowledge about this topic.